ahead boys and girls I'm going to show you how to draw Charlie Harper's turkey so here's his drawing and what I did was I broke it down into some shapes for us to move forward the very first thing I did was I took this whole shape here and I broke it down into two shapes so we're going to start with that square first so holding your paper vertically or if you really want you could hold it horizontally that's fine I am going to hold mine vertically so that I can mirror this. And I'm going to start with this shape right here, which is a square. Underneath that square, I'm going to put this rectangle. Remember, you can pause the video or speed it up at any time. Now let's take a look at this shape here. There is a diagonal line that goes there. And then it comes up a straight line and it's a little bit of a curve. Now we're going to make this line here and that line there and it creates that diamond effect. Now let's add in our triangle right here. And let's do this shape here. We're going to come up and then we're going to curve. And now let's create this big curve for the belly. Looking good. Now let's go back to the tail. It's a rectangle at the bottom, but we put a triangle on top. And now let's take a look at this wing. It's a little cut off in this, um, in this work, but if you would like, you can create the curve line there. But let's look at where it starts. So it starts right over here, and it comes out from this part of the triangle. So if you make those little lines to help you, you can figure out where the wing goes. There we go. Right here is the little foot. It almost looks like the top of a triangle doesn't have a line on the bottom. Now this is the fancy, these are fancy little pieces of the turkey. So right on the curve, you're just going to create, it almost looks like a backwards D. Now let's find where the head should go. So right here on this line, I'm going to create a curve that goes from here all the way down here. And then I'm going to do two little bumps. Bump, 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 bump. And on the inside, very close up, you can see the detail of the face. So he made a stylized surrounding design around this little face. So inside here, you can create your turkey face. Triangle for the beak, curve for the head, and then the eye. If you would like to do yours a different way, you can. I did mine a little bit different from his. Now, you can fill up your whole piece with lines just like Charlie Harper did. So if I'm looking at this, there are vertical lines here, and then there's diagonal lines that go here and you can continue on doing it like this. Now, you might remember we did the Yayoi Kusama, and if you would like to create more of a patterned effect or a Zentangle effect on the inside, you can do that too. So this is where you can get a little bit more creative as an artist and kind of start to design it on your own. Or you can follow just exactly like he did. Totally your call. The most important thing is to enjoy and as always, stay creative.